Okay, so still on the Frempon Mansu Institute, which is the latest um, institute which has been launched. Mm -hmm. Of course, we all know um, the great personality behind it. Reverend Professor Frempon Mansu, he needs no introduction in this country, has served at various levels. A great Christian leader has done so much to help the advancement of the nation in terms of developing it at all levels. And definitely this is someone who is very credible. And that is why we really have to talk about this particular institute because it's quite an innovative and a very novel thing for a great Christian personality, you know, of his sort to have put something mm -hmm. together. And this is not just any, you know, normal institute gathering from what he has told us, you can see that it's coming from um, a different perspective, something very new, bringing a new dimension mm -hmm. in itself to the um, institutes that we do have in this nation. And it's, it's very, very, very amazing. So we'll ask um, Reverend Professor exactly what, um, just to make it, you know, quite um, narrow it down, mm -hmm. to what exactly is the mission of the institute? Our vision is to help resolve the problems in our nation to make things look better for every individual. And our mission is to use all that we have, our strength and resources, to make sure that, that this is uh, done. Wow. To transform persons mm. and nations mm. with integrity, mm. and that is the message of Jesus Christ. Okay. And our mission is to positively reshape mindset, mm. policies, mm. and values mm. at all levels mm. of human endeavor mm. through research, mm. advocacy, mm. roundtable mm. meet, meets, mm. training, mm. publications, okay. and prototype implementation okay. of findings okay. and solutions with proven faith-based uh, faith expertise. Then our core values are apolitical, okay. Faith-based, wow. integrity, generational, and independent. As we are not going to tow any political party line. Mm. It is faith-based. We are Christians. Mm. We are going to be an institution that is men and women of integrity. Mm. Generational, you know, we don't want this thing to die. Okay. When from dies. It dies. But we are going to allow it to go until Christ comes. Successive So... It is not for our generation. Mm. You know, some a young boy saw a father who was about seven, 90 years planting a coconut. He said, why are you planting a coconut? <laughs> he said, I'm planting it for you. Wow. So this is for people who are yet unborn. Wow. And it's independent. Mm. We will not be manipulated or wow. bought or persuaded or by, to be used by mm. any people mm. to, you know, to satisfy their poems and caprices. We are just independent, free mm. to speak mm. our mind. Mm. So this institute, like I've said, yes, have got, you know, the idea came. Okay. And how, this is how we are going yes, to revolve sir. around. Sure. We are going to be a political, mm. independent, I've said, round table, mm. positive. We will positively challenge the status quo. Wow. We are not going to do business as okay. usual. Okay. There's going to be a paradigm shift. Mm. Mm. We are going to be a problem solving institution. Wow. We are going to build on foundations of truth, mm. fairness, and creativity. Wow. We will partner with credible faith-based institutions on the African continent and globally mm. to, to fast-track findings wow. and solutions mm. and disseminate information mm. for national growth. Mm. What we need to do mm. is to critically assess the need of our land. So we cannot do anything. So what, are, what the institute is trying to do is where did we come from? Why are we here? Mm. 70 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, where have we come from? Mm. And why are we in this state? Wow. And where do we want to go? Mm. So we are always mindful about Ghana's history, the past, okay. Ghana's okay. present situation, and where Ghana want to go. Wow. Then in going there, we want everybody to identify the task 
the task of the nation building mm. and activities that we will do mm. to build the task mm. so that everybody can be part mm. and the resources that we will need. Mm. So this is for every Ghanaian. This wow. institute is for it's every Ghanaian. All inclusive men, mm. men, women, mm. children, adults, people from all walks of life wow. are invited, but it is faith-based. Okay. We make Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. So whoever believes in Jesus and confesses him as Lord and Savior is welcomed. And that I think together, bringing in the media, in fact, people have already requested the role the media will play. As a Bringing in education, sure. our legal, so every part, mm. every, we want to touch every facet of society. It's so much general, mm. but it's so much specific. That's why we have chairs mm. and uh, fellows mm. and associates mm. who will delve into the details of specific thematic areas mm. to be able to help, you know, bring effective delivery. This is amazing. So you heard it from the horse's own mouth. And uh, talking about the Institute, you said you made mention of the fact that mm. you are looking at bringing all stakeholders in, um, you know, mm. the society, meaning that you touch on the media, which is a key stakeholder as yes. well. And so in that sense, are we looking at um, the structure, the nation structure in terms of the bodies we have? Uh, that's the, are you looking at including people like the executive, the legislature, the judiciary, and the media as the fourth yeah, state of the realm? We are bringing everybody, but we also... You know, the politicians, people in the executive legislature, they have a role to play because we will work with them. Okay. But we are also mindful that in Ghana, we are so polarized. If you don't take care, you bring people who are extremely politically exposed. You bring somebody from here, oh, he's from that party. You bring somebody from here, he's from that party. So we will need them. We will let them, if they are experts, why not? But we don't want any picture to be created that will associate this institute with any political party. We are apolitical. Political. Sure. Mm -hmm. You made mention of the media. I guess the media mm -hmm. is a major stakeholder. Mm -hmm. You cannot do with that. What is going to be the role of the fourth estate of the realm, the media, in terms of this mm -hmm. particular institute? Well, we have a chair. Reverend Dr. C.O.P. Ampabeni is the chair for media okay. and security. So he is going to draw his policies and uh, come out of ideas. But of course, you can't build a nation with a, you know, without the media. Yes, so, you know, there are sometimes excesses. Mm -hmm. There are sometimes polarization. Mm -hmm. Sometimes some comments are bad. So I think we will bring in we heard they, 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 they should be more credible. Okay. They should be more neutral. The, the media has a role wow. to entertain, to inform, to educate. And they should disseminate proper information to the public so that the public should give a response. But where people are ultra political, very, very divisive, where stories are twisted. Mm -hmm. Twisted mm. here and there, mm. they can bring confusion. Okay. So this is where I think uh, we will have a role mm. with the media. They will teach us. We will teach them how wow. together we can. Mm. You know, Ghana is well respected in Africa and the world mm. because of our media. Mm. The media landscape very free, mm. very independent, mm. without restraints. Mm. But going far, sometimes there are excesses. And sometimes people even think that sometimes there are some controls. Wow. Why mm. should all this thing happen? Mm. I'm not a media expert, but That's the media right. experts will be able to, you know, mm. do through more light. Mm. Okay. Let me say that yeah. there are certain areas from Paul Manson is not an expert. Okay. So this institute seeks to bring experts. Okay. To come and handle those areas. For example, sure. climate wow. and environment. Wow. Mm. For example, ICT. Mm. I only know how to boot my computer <laughs> and type one few things and do WhatsApp yeah. and do Facebook yeah. and others. Yeah. But we have somebody like Prince Kofi Kluge, who is an expert who is going to help us. 
to move from wow. Galam to move our Galamse size to Silicon Valley. Wow. You know, where we have Silicon Valley in the US, it was a Galamse site. Oh. Much rush for okay. minerals. Okay. But they have turned that area mm. to one of the richest places. Mm. Today, when you have a mobile phone, you have the whole world. Wow. Why timber, gold, manganese, mm. diamond, mm. Galamse, and we are still poor. Mm. So my institute is going wow. to help how we can use ICT mm. to transform our world. Mm. Talk about science. Mm. We have studied science for several years. Wow. But there are certain things we are not doing. We are still importing bicycles. Bicycles. We are importing almost everything. So the science aspect is going to help people, science, technology, and health. So we are going to do primary science that will not sit up, lock up in the laboratories. But out of what we do, we should go beyond the primary science to apply science, technology, engineering, and others to, to solve our own problems. There are little, little things Ghanaians can resolve while we wait. Recently, we were crying about foreign exchange. Why should we import everything into this country? So these are some of the things. I have brought an aspect there. Of course, I can talk theology. But why will I put myself there mm. if somebody can do it and free me to do other mm. things? Mm. So we have somebody like Professor Samuel Yudu Trinity College, wow. the president, okay. one of the best theologians in this country, I may say, sharing that. And he will make sure that things are stabilized on the religious and the theological and the biblical interpretations. See, sometimes prophecies come and all of us are confused. Mm -hmm. So this institute will try to have a discourse, to engage, train, and have our best we can, you know, stabilize the religious landscape. Sometimes I'm afraid when we are getting to 31st December. Ghana is not a theocratic state. In the Old Testament, Israel was a theocratic state. So they were guarded by the prophets, the priests, the kings, and the rest. So the prophets had authority about a lot of things. In Ghana, we are a secular state. We are governed by the president, the legislature, the judiciary, and the rest. So it is not a prophet, prophet who should set the pace for the nation. Israel was a nation, but in the New Testament, God has a nation, the church. So in the church, we have prophets, apostles, pastors, teachers, and evangelists to prepare the scenes for the work of the ministry. So a prophet's work is mainly to the church and to guide the church to you know but then outside the church you know israel is a nation okay. a nation that loves israel prophets can prophesy to bless them a nation that hates israel prophets will prophesy against them so if a leader comes in and he attack the church a prophet can prophesy to that leader if he's for the church prophet can prophesy probably a blessing and the prophets were based on the word of god the prophecies no is based upon the covenant God has set a law for the Israelites. So when they break the law, the prophets will prophesy condemnation. When they follow the law, they prophesy judgment. So this kind of prophets, what is their basis? What is their basis? It doesn't based on any covenant. The covenant for Ghanaians is the covenant of the constitution. You obey the constitution, you are free. You disobey the constitution, you are punished. But the general law of God should not be governed by the police or whatever. Wow. It is the church. Wow. So the police comes in. Why? Mm. When people are using freedom mm. of religion and religious liberty to exploit people, mm. vulnerable men and women and children, okay. they should be protected. But when they are protecting this, they should also be mindful of the law that they don't overdo it. So what I would say is that mm. There should be a common ground. Okay. And the letters they wrote, I think they were written for. Thank you for watching Nation One TV. Kindly subscribe for more news updates.